Hello everyone, welcome to Ace Wing Academy's YouTube channel. So in this particular video, we'll be discussing about what shall be your last one month approach for bar examination. Now, for most of the streams, as we all know, um, that gate examination is over. And uh, for some other streams, um, for example, civil engineering and other streams, and DA as well, the examination is still to be conducted. Now, whosoever is preparing for gate examination, keep on preparing for gate exam. Don't be concerned about bar exam right now. Uh, you can watch this video afterwards, but see, the approach for bar examination is not that much different from a gate exam, right? Um, if you have filled the form for bar examination, you all know this, that you can go um, in bar examination through both the channels. You can go through their own exam also and through gate examination as well. So both of the approaches are important for us. So keep on preparing how you have been preparing for gate exam. Don't be concerned much about uh, uh, bark examination if you are considering to give bark exam as well. Right. And uh, as the syllabus is almost same, approach shall be also same and also um, but there is a basic difference between the exam pattern. We'll be discussing that over here. And uh, to be more precise, you have to continue your preparation. You don't have to uh, think of it in this manner that my gate examination is over and uh, my approach is well and good. Um, now I don't need to revise or something else. See, anything can happen in the final result of gate also. Do not leave your preparation. Keep on preparing for uh, bark exam as well. Keep on giving as many tests as you can which are inclined towards bark examination. Why I say this? Because people who know me and people who have, um, you know, attended my sessions, live sessions or recorded sessions, I have been a very big advocate of this particular notion that the more you do it, the better you get at it. Right? So keep this in mind. The more you do it, the better it is. More questions you will solve, the better you get, right? More confident you get. So you have to focus on solving as many questions as you can at this particular stage as well. Just continue your preparation. You don't have to uh, leave your preparation at all. As you can, as you know that mostly your examination is there in first week of March itself. So I have to be continuous with my uh, problem solving skills and making sure I am uh, solving my, uh, you know, uh, questions uh, with respect to my conceptual understanding and I'm fulfilling all my mistakes and everything. I'm rectifying my mistakes. You have to keep this in mind, right? So as you all know, there are two programs which are conducted under BARC. Uh, BARC. Um, number one, it is OCES and next, next is what DGFS. OCES is one year program and DGFS is two year program. Everyone knows about it uh, until now. If you have filled the form, you already know about it. There are two types of programs and you get a per month stipend of 74,000 rupees and there are some other allowances as well, uh, which also increase this particular uh, stipend. So it, it is close to 79,000, 80,000 uh, with those allowances as well. Um, once your training is completed, you will be choosing, uh, you'll have a choice of choosing uh, of based upon your marks, actually, based upon your performance in the training and everything. Um, you can go um, for, you know, permanent scientific officer positions in BARC, right? Various establishments of BARC, you'll be absorbed as scientific officers. But the point is, they will be, um, uh, you know, making sure that you do not leave bark also. So you have to fill in the, you know, bond and everything as well. So there are a couple of years of bond as well, which you need to fulfill, right? So you cannot leave bark. Um, they will make sure of that. DAE Graduate Fellowship Scheme. DAE stands for Department of Atomic Energy. Um, so you can pursue MTech in this, uh, most probably uh, in various IITs and a couple of NITs as well. There are uh, Department of Atomic Energies where you can, uh, there is, you know, co collaboration with BARC and you can pursue MTech programs over there. So that's why it is a two year program and everything in detail also has been mentioned and has been discussed previously as well in a video. Now, 
the point of concern for us is what selection in bark it is through two channels one can be what gate exam and another one is their own examination or online uh, examination which the bark conducts right the point is mostly your gate will be over whatever your performance is good bad forget about it focus on your next step focus on uh, the exam pattern of bark first now right so it is a bit different from gate exam uh, number of questions are more than gate exam over here and also um, level of questions will be a bit lower than gate exam see in gate exam you all know that number of questions which are asked are equal to what 65 but over here number of questions are 100 so they are a bit more uh, and they are as you can see their marks which are also there they are also different so positive marking it is plus three and negative marking is minus one and the examination is of two hours not of three hours so 120 minutes all the questions will be mcq questions the biggest difference in a gate examination as you all know this that there are three types of questions which are as mcq msqs and nets but over here the questions will be mcq questions which will be asked now syllabus is somewhat similar to gate exam um, uh, technical plus engineering mathematics nothing else is asked in this exam now some questions can be a bit lengthy some questions can be very very small but when you will compare with the level of questions which are asked in gate and bark when you will solve the previous year questions you will understand this the level of questions is a bit lower than gate exam so Concepts will remain concepts only, right? Concepts won't change. The exam pattern is changing. Your speed and accuracy will be a challenge in this particular case because suddenly the exam pattern is a bit different. You may be following a particular approach uh, to solve the questions within a particular time frame for gate exam, but that shall not be true in the case of bark exam. So you have to redefine your approach. Maybe there is a chance that um, you do a lot of mistakes when you are going on speed. So you have to rectify all those mistakes uh, by solving as many questions as you can, right? And also keep this in mind, this examination is a screening exam and your final selection will be based upon your interviews, right? Once you will be shortlisted, your performance in the interviews matters a lot uh, in BARC exam. And there is also no limit of number of seats as well. So this is a positive sign as in uh, whatever they deem like to uh, take in bark. So they'll be taking in bark, right? Now, apart from that, uh, what is the basic approach for any comparative exam? It has always remained same. Um, in my previous, vi previous videos also, I have stated this approach. That approach for any comparative exams remains same. You just have to replace the name of that exam with your goal exam, right? So uh, whatever the approach is there for gate and bark and every, every other competitive exam consider for PSUs as well, see. Now most of the PSUs, as you all know, they are conducting their own exams as well, right? Now, this is a very positive sign for us. Our chances of selection increases a lot, right? Even after the gate, is, gate examination is over, keep on continuing for preparing for the PSU exams. And one of the best ways to keep on preparing for PSU exams and BARC exam, which is next month, is by solving as many questions as you can. That's it. The more you do it, the better you get at it. Until this particular stage, you have revised your notes, you have your own notes, you have done the, you are done with the coaching as well. But now is the state of your preparation. That's it. And preparation primarily is done by solving questions within a particular set time frame. And one of the best ways, is, best ways to do that is through test series. So keep this, uh, this in mind that test series, whatever test series is there, it brings a lot of understanding of the level of the concept which you need to reach and where you are lagging behind, right? And parallelly, keep on solving as many questions as you can and parallelly make your own notes as well. Wherever you are make, uh, making mistakes, 
keep on making your own notes keep on revising your notes now this doesn't mean that you won't solve previous year questions of gate as well you can solve previous year questions of gate as well for revision of concepts you can solve previous year questions of engineering services as well right it will help you to have understanding of your conceptual upbringing right where you are uh, right now and also approach towards previous year questions of park as well parallelly and forever uh, for other psu exams also which you are uh, aiming for right so you can skip conventional questions uh, for right now you can skip conventional questions try to stick towards uh, mcq questions msq questions as well as uh, theoretical questions which are there in engineering services objective right but the point is the thing which is of utmost importance is your test series more questions you will solve the better it is right uh, maybe your approach will change maybe not it will change you have to decide it right no one else can tell you about it what is your current state no one else can tell you about it right this can be done through test series in the best way possible because now one hour less time you need to dedicate in the exam this is a 2 hour exam gate is a 3 hour examination right and number of questions is also more previously in gate exam it was 65 questions now it is 100 questions so here speed and accuracy becomes your biggest problem your biggest problem is what speed and accuracy so keep this in mind speed as well as accuracy and that can be done through test series now afterwards you can see what are the um, uh, advantages of online test series see flexibility access of the questions uh, by experts and solutions as well test wise statistics result and performance analysis you can do and primarily you can um, say that this particular test series whatever you will take it is developed with respect to the exam pattern and you are getting equipped with respect to the exam pattern so this is one of the best ways to go for it now from 1st of february uh, we have started our online test series and the test series subscription will be available up until the examination of bark date right so it will be available till the bark 2025 examination full length mock tests five full length mock test will be there inside of it right and for all the streams it is available electronics electrical civil mechanical and csit right now if you want to avail this test series you can scan this qr code and you can click a screenshot of this right now you can scan this qr code and enroll in the test series of bark apart from this you can see all the statistics will be available to you how is your performance and everything going on in the test series everything will be available in the portal itself right so thanks for watching this video i hope i was able to give you a different mindset of preparing for bar bar examination and try to i was trying to motivate you also uh, regarding keep on following your preparation journey don't uh, lose your ties with your preparation right now at this stage because throughout the year n number of notifications will be coming and uh, one more thing most of the psus are conducting their own exams also this will be also helpful for your uh, mindset as well right to be equipped in respect of new notifications will be which will be coming and also the examinations which will be uh, coming forward for the psus uh, coming this year right so keep on preparing for um, the exam and uh, do subscribe to our channel thank you for watching